Joe's memory of G7 could have only happened in heaven. Brain Dead Biden brings us our video of the day during a campaign speech in Las Vegas. He regaled everyone with a story about sitting down with Francois Mitterrand just a few years ago. But Mitterrand has been dead since 1996. <laughs> to be fair, that might be the same year Joe lost consciousness. Roll it, Phyllis. Right after I was elected, I went to a, what they call a G7 meeting, all the NATO leaders. I was in, it was in the south of England. And I sat down and I said, America's back. And Mitterrand from Germany, I mean, from France, looked at me and said, uh, <clears throat> said, you know, why, why how, how long are you back for? <laughs> First of all, Mitterrand from Germany, I mean France. So that's the part he corrected. <laughs> that's like saying, I'm for child labor. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm for child marriage. <laughs> at least he didn't say how in 2015 he beat up Charles de Gaulle. For a quick history lesson, Mitterrand was president of France from 1981 to 95 and died in 96. So if that meeting happened in 2020, Biden would have been talking to a dried out old corpse. <laughs> and Mitterrand, the same. Kat, yeah. what did you think of his correction? <laughs> He does this all the time. Yes. I mean, he said, OK, so I'm like kind of out of things to say about the president thinking he sees dead people. And yeah. like, that should never be the case. Yeah. Like, I should have had to have one take about that. Yeah. And this is, I've lost count at this, at this point. And it's, it, 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 it's, it's going to happen again. You know, it is going to happen again. So if I had something else, I have to save it for the next time he thinks he sees uh, it. Because we'll be doing a segment on this the next time he does it. That's true. You need to conserve your commentary yeah, the on next his dementia. The next person that he sees. Yes. You know, uh, uh, Brian, this is going to be the longest election season, and this is how he is now. Right. That entire moment was screwed up. The whole speech was he had to speak four times over the last seven days. Each speech had major moments where he just became in, unintelligible, yeah. let alone inaccurate. What I think is very important is Van Jones actually said the best thing for Joe Biden to win an election is to keep the lowest profile possible. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine someone saying the best way for your team to win is for you not to play? Yes. And that it's, is really what they're saying. They used to say that to me all through <laughs> right. high school. How dare they? And grade school. Right. Yeah, you know, uh, Kennedy, to, to kill me, point, huh? uh, he's, not, he's not doing the three-minute, like, Super Bowl halftime interview, the easiest interview <laughs> anybody can do. Yeah, it's a layup, and it seems like a challenge, but um, he's a wuss because he can't be challenged. Yeah. And that's why Trump challenged him to a debate. He's like, no, let's debate right now. Yeah. You know, he knows that the contrast is, in addition to a series of ongoing indictments, it's really the best campaign tool that the former president has yeah. would be contrasting himself with Joe Biden on a stage, answering the same questions, the difference in their energy level and ability to put sentences together. But, you know, I look at something like this. I remember when Bob Dole, 1996, when he was running for president mm -hmm. and he mistook the Brooklyn Dodgers mm -hmm. and that ended his candidacy. That's yeah. like people like, nope, that's it. Too old. But it's like, you know, he's it, he can't even remember Emmanuel Macron. Yeah. He was like, Young and vibrant. And, and the names don't even sound the same. It's like they're I just, They're just M names, Greg. That's it. Yeah, they're just M's. Jamie, do you think somebody on his staff is feeding him bad info on purpose? <laughs> no, Mitterrand's still alive. Yeah, this, it's, it's absolutely insane. Like, I, I, I feel like he... Let me say this. I never thought I would have something in common with the president, but we're both speechless. <laughs> like, I don't even know what to say. I heard that at late, that late night at the bar, like when you get him drunk, he talks just normal. Yeah, <laughs> right. He talks with, with perfect diction. They should start dressing him in whatever suit he wants to wear when he dies just to save time. Kamala <laughs> <laughs> should pick it out. Yes. Yeah. All right, up next, do people lack trust when wrinkles are robust? Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.